Low pro. Mid crown. The two hats, the low pro versus the mid crown, and if I had uh, a high crown trucker, it probably would look something like that there. So high crown, mid crown, and low pro, and that's the three sizes of hats, trucker hats that Patagonia makes. And if you're watching this, it's probably summer 2021. Looking for a trucker hat? Look at this video, and you'll see the different um, what you need to fit your hat. So I have a 22 inch head, and you can see how um, each of these hats will look on a someone. I have a medium head by all. By all human standards of head size, and I have a medium sized head. So you should see how it would look in your head if you have a smaller head or bigger head by watching me fit these hats on my. So, hey guys, here's my trucker hat collection. So, in front of you, we have a mid crown hat here. Um, these are all worn, by the way. I've actually bought these a couple over the years. And um, this is my low pro hat here. And behind, I believe this is another low pro hat. You could tell a low pro. I'll explain that in a minute, the way the crown is shaped. In the background, I have an example because I don't have a high crown. My Filson hat here would be a high crown. So next to the mid crown, you can see the high crown there, how it looks. I'm going to put all these on in a minute for you guys. And I have uh, my uh, uh, Vineyard Vines hat here, um, which is similar to um, a mid crown kind of style there, as well as um, a rare trucker style hat. I've noticed this with the golf hats. It's a mesh, but it's like a hidden mesh kind of hat. I just want to throw it in a video. And this is hat is by um, Jay Lind Lindeberg. Um, they make golf stuff as well, some funky urban um, kind of clothing. So I'm going to put these hats on and swing the camera around in a minute. Um, but we're right off the bat. Um, the low pro hat, they, the circumference of these are inside is basically the same, I think. Uh, so regardless of the size of your head, these all fit. The regards to the low crown versus the um, or low pro versus the mid crown hat style hat is the way the crown sits above your head. So there's more depth to this hat from the peak down to where you know it touches your ears on the side. There's less depth on this one. So basically, if you have a smaller type head, this would probably look better on you, but you could still wear this hat if you want it to stick up a bit more. If you have a really big head, um, this hat will fit you. If you have a lot of hair or, you know, you kind of want to get the um, high crown. And the weird thing with the sizing is that this style only comes in a low crown, a low pro. That's the hex one only comes with that mid crown hat. So some styles have different sizes to them but if you want a certain style you're gonna have to sacrifice and get that size and so let's flip the camera around and show you guys how these look on my head so i know this is the patagonia hat video but i'm gonna start with the filson hat and this is an example of a high crown hat on my head um you see there the crown is really deep it's really um it's also firm it's like bulletproof this thing um and this is uh i recently picked this up one up last week actually um on a winter sale it's a really nice hat it has like a leather thing in the back there. I've never really seen a, a truck with a leather um, strap back there. It's kind of cool. So this is the high crown. I see the shape of my head. I don't have a lot of hair. And I put this on. It makes makes my head actually look square and bigger. So this sits square up. And this is your traditional 1985 era trucker hat, right? Um, and it's very boxy and it adds a lot of height to my forehead and my head. There, if I had a lot of hair or anything like that, this would be perfect on my head. Or if I had a, like a really kind of big head or a long, longish face, this would look nice on my my head. It looks nice as is, I think. Uh, next up, we have the mid crown, which is the hex hat. This actually still has. I haven't worn this one actually. I don't think. And the weird thing with these, you can't really tell from the tags what it is. It just the tags would just tell you what year and the style number. So this is your mid crown. This is a perfect fit for my head. Here I have a medium, large, small, medium head, or however you want to say it. So this is how this would look on my head. And this is the strap back here. The snap back, I'm sorry. I don't particularly like the snap backs on these hats. It's not my style of things. I don't know. I grew up with that in the 90s and 80s. I never liked the snap back. So this crown, it suits the design, and I guess that's why Patagonia sells this different sizes with different um, designs, because the hex is like a vertical kind of style, so it sits um, it sits well on a mid-crown hat where the crown has a lot of um, surface area or a lot of um, canvas to put a, a, something like that on there. Next we go right into the low pro. 
or a low crown style hat. It goes right on. This is actually one of the most comfortable hats I have. Because I have a small medium head, it slips right in. My head is actually touching the, the top there and you see how that looks. Turn around. It actually goes so low my ears are like pinched a bit. So um, bring that up a bit. Show you guys the snap back here. Um, and I do, I think I have like two there on the snap back. So you can kind of see how it goes around my head. And again, I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. Give it again. So this style um, logo sits well in a low crown kind of hat like this. Or Patagonia calls this a low pro trucker. So that's what the low pro is. And then we have my um, tarpan. And this is even lower, lower, this is like extremely, I thought this, used to think this was like a mid-crown, but this is really low. My daughter actually wears this hat a lot. And this hat, it's really low. Um, I think this is actually might be a woman's kind of hat. But this is kind of how this one looks on my head. I think my daughter wore this last, so I definitely have that there. Kind of that's how that looks. So this is more of like a really low on the head hat so you kind of could see the run through of the different um different styles but these are my two my two main ones I'll show you guys again low low pro mid crown so the mid crown doesn't even it just stays right there and it just makes my head bigger kind of it makes it look you know like i got more onto the hat which is kind of cool um i put these other ones on for you this is my vineyard vines it's kind of really red, um, like a MAGA hat kind of red. Uh, so I got my whale on there. And this is kind of like a mid-crown. There is some um, space there. This is a comfortable hat for me to wear, actually. It's actually more comfortable than the Patagonia ones. The quality on this is actually really good. At Vineyard Vines, I don't think they do high-quality products. But the quality of this mesh is much, much better overall than the Patagonia hat. I think the quality overall on this hat is... Is a lot better than the Patagonia hat. See the stitching in the inside is is even better. It's like hidden, colored match. Here the stitching is white. I don't know. You be the judge. But I think the Vineyard Vines is is bringing a quality here to the, to this um, hat game. So that's how that look of the spinning around, so you guys can see. And last but not least is my last trucker, my Jay Lindbergh hat. Um, it's very comfortable. And this mesh is kind of like a hidden type style mesh. I like this. It's fitted. It's a medium size, so it looks good. And this kind of have a highish crown. I could actually push it in. See, that crown is very high in my head. Um, it's a subtle hat. Uh, I like this hat. It's not like in your face. People don't know what the brand logo is. Um, and uh, really good hat. But I just want to throw this in there so you guys see how the Patagonia hats compare to a different style of hats. Uh, and that's it guys. That Alright guys, see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.